Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Elite Trainer Box Plus. This particular box features the Sheehan. There is another one out there that features Zamazenta. So this product is brand new. I did purchase it from Collector's Cash for well above MSRP $79.99. Funny story before I get into the opening, my local Walmart for the past several weeks have had a limit in place of two products. So for the past several weeks, I've been lucky enough to actually get some products at my local Walmart. Well, last week they took down the limit signs after the initial rush was over. So I thought maybe this week that they would either not sell Pokemon cards at all or maybe move them behind aisle nine where you have to talk to someone that works there before purchasing Pokemon cards. Well, guess what? No limit at all to the Pokemon cards or sports cards in general. They did stock at my local Walmart. A friend of mine and myself went to Walmart when the stocker was just finishing the shelves. We weren't the first ones there and the guy that was there who resells everything on Facebook, he had at least eight of these Elite Trainer Box Pluses in his cart. I think 15 Shining Fates Elite Trainer Boxes, just a ton of other stuff. So I was lucky enough to get four Shining Fates Elite Trainer Boxes and two Shining Fates Tins. I did leave a few things for some other customers, so hopefully that one person that I saw didn't circle back and buy even more. He was at the self-checkout the same time I was, and when I was walking out, his bill was already up to $1,200, so there has to be something that stops him, that prevents him from doing that. My coworker went to Walmart at lunchtime, so I was there at about 9 a.m. By the time 12 p.m. came around, the whole store had been wiped when it came to Pokemon cards. So again, I had to buy this Elite Trainer Box Plus online for about $20 more than MSRP. There is lots to like about this box. On the back, you can see everything that you get on side, inside. 12 booster packs. So this is really a celebration of the Sword and Shield series of sets. You get a gold-colored Zacian V. I like Zacian more than Zamazenta. And then several other items to play and collect in the trading card game. So I'll have my box cutter handy here and I'll get the box opened up. And I think this is a box that will be collectible in the long run just because there's a variety of packs on the inside. And then the gold colored Zashian. Zashian, such a great card competitively. All right, so Turn the box over and it looks like it just slides out. So I'll probably redo my thumbnail to not have a huge glare on the box. So this is essentially an Elite Trainer box with a little bit more. Elite Trainer boxes normally come with eight packs on this inside. Special expansions have 10. And then just explains everything related to the Sword and Shield series of sets. Very high quality Elite Trainer actual box. If I open it up here, same thing as normal Elite Trainer boxes. Pull everything out, I would assume, just like so. No. Boy, oh boy, it's a tough one to pull out. Just take everything out individually then. I just don't want to shake everything or wreck the camera. There we go. Had to get a little bit of a tug and then everything came out. Like I said, that's too bad that there's so many resellers out there for Pokemon cars just buying everything possible. And even if I would have walked into the store freshly stocked shelves, I'm a Poketuber that opens lots of sealed products and I still would have left plenty for other customers, especially the kids out there. And right now it's mainly adults just buying everything. So there's a look at everything that you get on the inside. It can show everything a little bit better here. So here would be the card sleeves. And I actually like these sleeves quite well. Now the ones from Shining Fates, matte. The back was a matte finish. That might be the case here. So for collecting purposes, they're not the best for displaying your cards. 
the card dividers if you would like to store your cars in the Elite Trainer box. I'll give away this online TCG code card. I know a lot of people that are in the live chat and would like to thank those watching this video as I premiere it. A lot of you are always asking for the codes. This is a Black Star promo Intrepid Sword, such a great ability, and then Brave Blade, 230 damage for only three energy cards. Really love this card, and that is the box to pick up. Love the gold here, and I wore my gold watch just for this opening to match with the burn and poison markers here, and then the coin flip die. Like I said, I think this is a very collectible box overall. I would have liked to have picked up one of each, at least at Walmart for MSRP. I read a very good article from the Sporting News on what's happening with sports cards and the Pokemon TCG. Alrighty, 12 packs here. I'm assuming a variety of all the different sets. Actually, better than I was hoping for. Three Vivid Voltage. Three, four Darkness Ablaze. Five Darkness Ablaze. Look at that. Lots of chances for Charizard. One, two, three Rebel Clash. And then one Sword and Shield base set. Now, two more announcements before I get into opening the packs. First off, if you're watching this video as I premiere it, it is, what, May 21st, 2021. This coming Sunday, I am auctioning off several cards on my family's eBay. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. I'm auctioning those cards off, so that means you could get some great deals because whatever the cards sell for, that's what they sell for. It's not buy it now listings. I have some of the best cards set aside down here, like a PSA 9 graded Charizard from base set, that's available for sale. A Lugia EX, a very good card right here, a very collectible one in mint condition. And then a Torchic Gold Star. I also have lots of first edition graded cards available this weekend. This is a Gem Mint 10 Haunter from the Fossil set. And then I have Team Rocket as well. And I also have lots of other base set graded cards. So if you're interested in some of those cards or you would like to help support the channel, certainly consider checking out eBay for my listings. So I can start opening these packs a little bit. And the other announcement is I will be having another Shining Fates break. Most of the time in the live chat and in the comment section of the video, I'll state the rules to entry, how much and whatnot. $13 per spot. I'll be opening up 36 booster packs of Shining Fates. Once again, Ryan Majeski at MSN.com via PayPal to enter. One winner takes all. Highest numbered Shining Vault subset card gets the contents of all 36 Shining Fates booster packs. The last Shining Fates break that I did, someone came away with three Shiny Ditto V. You know what? Let's open up the Rebel Clash booster packs first. This is probably my least favorite Sword and Shield series set to date. Card I'd like to pull most here would be Boss's Orders, the Full Art or the Full Art Rainbow Rare. I believe there's a gold colored frost moth in the set as well. All right, set that one aside. Four and then two for the card trick. Voltorb starts the first pack in this Elite Trainer Box Plus. Sandy Guest, Vulpix, Coughing, Shinx, Fighting Type Energy, Skyla, Still have not pulled that card as a full art from Shining Fates. Luxio, Dracloak, Reverse Hollow of a Galarian Meowth. I like the looks of this card, just a common rarity wise. And then a Galarian Darmanitan as the rare. And of course, I'm very excited for Chilling Rain that comes out in June. I've pre ordered a lot of those products. The Legendary Burst from the first generation available as Ultra Rares in the set. Galarian Ultra Rares at that. I'm hoping the set will continue with the alternate arts that we saw in Battle Styles. Grubbin starts this one. Wingle. Natu. Barboach. Squovit. Fire-type Energy. Lombre. Haulucha. Indeedy, 
Reverse all of a charge a bug and uncommon. Rare here. Nice. A card that I actually pull a lot in Shining Fates, but this is the Ultra Rare Rillaboom V Max. So what a great start to this box. Like I said, I have the Zamazenta one to open up as well. Set that aside. Hopefully I'll have lots of good pulls from 12 total packs. Ideally, I would have three or four great cards from the 12 packs. All right, next up here, Rebel Clash. I still personally have not pulled the Charizard VMAX from Darkness Ablaze. I know Carla has pulled one in one of our live streams. I certainly miss her in the live streams. Of course, Carla's due with our baby in October, October 17th. And we're actually tomorrow, Saturday, having a gender reveal party or sisters putting that on. So we'll find out if we're having a baby girl or a baby boy. Snover starts this one. Natu. Trubbish. Pidov. Helioptile. Psychic type energy. Hatra. Carcoal. Beware. Reverse all of an Aegislash. Two rares is always nice. Final card, a Galarian Weezing. So, of course, Shining Face does include reprinted cards. This is a Galarian Weezing in that set. That is a card that I pull all of the time. So, not bad. Pulls wise so far. Let's see. There are the remaining packs. Again, Vivid Voltage. One of my favorite sets. Newer sets, that is, with those amazing rares. And then the Pikachus. I'll go to Sword and Shield base set now. And at the local Walmart... I, like I said, I picked up two Shining Face Elite Trainer Boxes, actually four. That's why I'm going to do that break, $13 a spot via PayPal, rhymejustgetmsn.com. And then I picked up the two Shining Face tins, six packs in each of those. And then I was able to pick up 14 individual Vivid Voltage booster packs. I have not seen Vivid Voltage in stores recently, so that was a nice find. That will be a video in the future. Rhyhorn starts this one. Rookadee. Krabby, Grookey, Mudbray. This is the first set to include V and V Max cards. Metal type energy, Citrus Berry, Corvusquire, Thwacky, Reverse Solo, a Scorpion, a Common. Rare here would be a Cramorant. All right. On to, let's do Darkness Ablaze. I'll save because the more valuable card is actually the Pikachu instead of the. Charizard from Darkness Ablaze. So I'll go to Darkness Ablaze and then Vivid Voltage. And I was discussing with a coworker of mine, if you guys have seen the video where I go to Walmart and go shopping, I believe the newest set at the time was Crimson Invasion. Lots of Shining Legends left on the shelf by myself. But a little inside information behind the scenes, the outdoor portion of that video where Carla was doing the videotaping, that was... I think in the afternoon because it was nice and bright. And then when I actually go into the store to purchase the products, that's after 11 p.m., I think. That's why the store is so empty. So that gives you an idea of sort of the environment of the trading card game, what, four years ago? Where the shelves had been stocked and really nothing was purchased until that evening when I came through. And that's something that I, I really do miss when it comes to collecting Pokemon cards is just being able to go to Walmart or Target or GameStop, anywhere like that, and just picking up something on a whim. Now, you're lucky to even find single packs at a retail store. All right, Darkness Ablaze pack starts with Panpour, Diglett, Jigglypuff, Rowlet, Cubchoo, Fire-type Energy, Rose Tower. Rose is a good supporter card to use with this stadium card. Once during each player's turn, that player may draw cards until they have three cards in their hand. Familiar Bell, Ariados, Reverse Hall of a Tauros, and the final card would be a Galarian Surfetched. Not much in the first pack. One of my favorite VMAX Pokemon is in Darkness Ablaze, in Eternatus. There is the Charizard. I have been lucky enough to pull 
two shiny Charizard VMAX cards from PAX. One was for a previous break, and then one just recently for myself. Like I said, I've sold a fair amount of cars lately just to help with the expenses for our baby upcoming in October. Like I said, I have all of those auctions that are ending this Sunday on eBay. Make sure to check the description of this video as well as in the live chat for that link. Skibby starts this one. Toxel, Morlull, Larvesta, Sentret, Fighting Type Energy, Vibrava, Turbo Patch could be one of the best cards from this set. Flip a coin of heads, attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your basic Pokemon that is an A Pokemon GX. Billowing Smoke, Reverse Hollow of a Wishy Washy, a common rare here would be a Lugia. A legendary Pokemon there, but a rare non hollow. Next up for Darkness Ablaze. And that's always the hope when I open boxes like these where there's multiple sets. I always hope that certain sets have worse pulls than others. Like in this one, I was hoping Rebel Clash would be below average to pump up the pulls in the other sets. So far, the opposite has been true. Okay, Nickit starts this one. Larvitar, Galarian Darumaka, Carablast, Ducklet, Grass Type Energy, Corvusquire, Dedenne, Mad Party, one of the more popular deck archetypes from this set, Steeny, Reverse Hollow of a Rose Tower, an uncommon, rare here would be a Galisopod. This is a rare hollow. Did see that white colored code card when I first opened the pack. Always hoping to see a little bit of a dark edge back there. Thought I caught a glimpse of it, but must not have been. Final chance? No, one more Darkness Ablaze pack after this one. Sent to Scorch VMAX on this one. Charizard VMAX on the final one. And that is something that I like about the special expansions is there's just the one version of the code card in the pack. For an opener like myself, it doesn't give away what's in that final spot. Spinarak starts this one. Darkness Ablaze. Panpour. Diglett. Jigglypuff. Rowlet. Darkness Type Energy. Combuskin. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. Talk about a long text on a card. Gotharita. Flaffy would be the reverse all on Uncommon. Rare. A Thievul. Hoping for some last pack magic with Darkness Ablaze, or the hunt continues for myself for that Charizard VMAX. I'll take the Pikachu VMAX Rainbow Rare, though, in Vivid Voltage even more. Jirachi, one of the better cards in Vivid Voltage, the Amazing Rare. Look at that, I have a chance. White colored code card, Rare Hollow at the very least. Okay, final Darkness Ablaze booster pack. It starts with Galarian Mr. Mine. Electrike, Dunsparce, Bound Sweet, Spinarak, Water Type Energy, Parasect, Laron, Glimwood Tangle, Reverse Hall of a Starly, a common, rare here. So close, I thought I had it right there. A beautiful looking card, and one I will keep in my collection since Charizard is my favorite Pokemon, Charizard V. And I have so many of the shiny Charizard V full arts from actually just Charizard V full art from the Elite Trainer boxes from Champions Path. That was a set. It took me a very long time to finally pull that shiny Charizard V. Alrighty. Not a bad pull there. And the Elite Trainer box plus with three Vivid Voltage booster packs. Now I am a little bit disappointed that Amazing Rares weren't continued in Battle Styles. But that is what seems to happen with some of those cards that come in the Reverse Hollow spots over the years. They really don't last that long in sets. Okay, this pack starts with Talo, Charmander, Wooper, a clueless looking Wooper, Galarian Meowth, Cottony, Darkness Type Energy, Pinchurchin, Telescopic Sight, an interesting tool card. The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's bench Pokemon V and benched GX. 
Ferrothorn, Reverse Hollow of a Ninjask, which would be a rare. Final card, a Flareon. Fits very well with my Eevee Evolution shirt that I'm wearing. Alrighty, second to last pack. It has Celebi on it, which is one of the amazing rares in the set. Is that a good sign? Ugh. And once Carla started opening more Pokemon cards, she would see that green colored code card, not even want to go through the pack. In this set, you can still get that amazing rare in the reverse hollow spot. Clobopus starts it. Woobat. Talo. Charmander. Wooper. Grass type energy. Alistair, a creepy looking supporter. Matang. Kakuna. Reverse hollow of a Pineco, a common. Rare would be a Lycanroc, and I do like some of the darker artwork on the cars from Vivid Voltage. Final pack here, and that friend that went with me to Walmart to pick up some products, he purchased some Vivid Voltage booster packs. He, he actually pulled a Bia Full Art, or a Bea, or a B, not exactly sure of the name there. That is one valuable Full Art card. Okay, final pack here, a Crying Wismer. I won't be crying after this opening, but nothing too spectacular, I would say. Trubbish, Tynamo, Clobopus, Woobat, Lightning-type Energy, Swellow, League Staff, Charmeleon, Reverse Hall of an Electric, an Uncommon, and the Rare would be a Whimsicott. So before I summarize the pulls from this Elite Trainer Box Plus, and I guess I can add the Zashian V. I love that card. I really should check the price on it. I'm thinking that it is at least a $10 to $15 card. But again, another reminder, I will be having a Shining Fates upcoming $13 per spot via PayPal. And I will let everyone know when that fills up. 36 spots available, winner takes all. Just make sure when you pay via PayPal, Ryan Majeski and MSN.com, which is in the link of the description of this video, rather, that you do let me know that you're trying to enter into the Shining Fates break. And it is a great way to support the channel. Essentially, if you don't win the entire booster box, 36 booster packs, you are helping support the channel and essentially donating. And then again, this Sunday, you could get some great deals. You could get cards like this, some graded Pokemon cards. You could get the Gold Star cards, Charizard from base set. You could get some great deals on my eBay. Link in the description of this video. Okay, so here are the best pulls from this Elite Trainer Box Plus. Two rare reverse solos, Aegislash and Ninjask. Two rare hollow cards, could have been something much better. Galisopod from Darkness of Blaze, and then Galarian Weezing from Rebel Clash. One regular V in Charizard. And then the best pull from the opening, the Rillaboom V Max. I will head over to TCG Player very quickly here. Once I can get this up, there you go. I suppose you want to see my face as well. There I am. But as you can see, if I scroll down a little bit, the Sheehan V SWSH 076, right about what I was thinking, actually more than I was thinking, $26.14. So, like I said, if you can purchase these boxes, especially for MSRP, and if you want to keep it sealed for a long time, I think that's a good investment. Or if you just want to open it up and keep the Zashian V sealed in the plastic, that works as well. But I hope you guys can start finding Pokemon cards in stores. I hope you guys don't have many resellers like I have in my area where multiple people are waiting in line for these shelves to be stocked. I don't know what happened with my local Walmart. The limit was working pretty well. I was actually able to get products. I can't complain this week because I went to Walmart exactly at the right time. But if I didn't go there at that time, the other two guys that were there would have just wiped out everything. And I don't understand it because he already had a full cart. So then I started taking some of these Shining Fates Elite Trainer boxes. He quick, quick rushed over and took as many as he could. I think he already had at least 10 in his cart. But he got upset with me that I was taking some. Well, 
he can take thousands of dollars and I can't take $200 worth of them. And then for some reason, I was being nice to him. I was taking two of the tins, like I said. I asked him if he wanted any of those and he wasn't interested. And actually when my coworker went back at lunchtime, the only thing left was one Shining Fates tin, which he picked up and then a bunch of Battle Styles individual packs. Battle Styles are pretty easy to come by and that's my one worry with Shining Face is that it's going to be like the early 90s of baseball cards where they're just going to print so many. But if you're not trying to just rip people off, if you're not trying to just hoard everything to resell later, you should be fine. If you're just a collector or just want to open up a few things, that's perfectly fine what the Pokemon Company International is doing. And of course, they don't care as long as their sealed products are selling as quickly as possible. And there is no end in sight with the demand, but the bubble might burst sometime. But that will conclude this video. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel before you go and leave a like. And then if you would like to support the channel even more, lots of ways to do that. Like I said, I have very good cards ending this Sunday via auction on eBay. Take a look at the link in the description of this video. I have a Shining Fates break that I will break open live. 36 booster packs, $13 per spot. If you'd like to enter via PayPal, RyanMajeski at MSN.com. And then, of course, I have other things. My book that I've written on Pokemon cards. I have a Patreon account. And everything else you need to know related to supporting the channel will be in the description of this video. But I greatly appreciate everyone watching this video. Thank you very much. You guys are what keep me motivated to making to keep making videos and without you guys my channel would be absolutely nothing so thank you very much greatly greatly appreciate it so thank you everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos thank you oh and let me know in the comments what do you think carlos baby is going to be a boy or a girl now just by my sister-in-law's reaction when she looked at the sealed envelope, she was very, very happy. So I'm thinking it's a girl. I'm feeling pretty positive that it is going to be a girl. Carla is just certain that it's going to be a boy. So who knows? I'm thinking it's a girl. If you have any gut feelings on it, let me know in the comment section of this video. So thanks again everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.